Welcome to our weekly maritime vlog. I'm Corey Ransom with International Maritime Security Associates. This week is our 100th vlog, so we decided to answer your viewer questions. Hi everyone, my name is Eric. I work for Blue Water Books and Charts. You may have seen me on this vlog every now and then. And for the 100th anniversary episode, I'm going to be asking Corey some viewer questions submitted by you. Uh, coming in through all forms of social media. Corey, are you ready? We're ready, and thanks for submitting your questions for future episodes. Interact with us through our social media so we get to put your questions on the air. Go with the first question. All I'm right, ready. Corey, question number one. I want to work in the maritime industry. How do I get started? You already work in the maritime industry. I do, but yeah. remember, I'm not asked for the Oh, questions. that's right. It's the viewer questions. So there's a lot of different aspects to the maritime industry. There's the shipboard aspects. There's the shore side, port side. So it really depends on where your area of expertise is. You can be involved in cybersecurity in the maritime industry. You can be involved in finance and accounting and marketing in sales and administration. So there's jobs all across the maritime industry, whether you're shipboard or shore side, depending on what part you want to be involved in that you can you can get into the industry so it's not just shipboard work there are a ton of people who support shipboard operations uh, through shoreside so there's a ton of opportunities in the maritime industry all right well that kind of piggybacks on our next question here Corey what does it take to hold a security position on a cruise ship specifically that's a good question and we actually get asked this question a lot um, we've had over 10,000 views of our uh, of our shipboard security uh, video that we did about cruise ships. So we get a ton of questions um, about that. What it takes is it, you want to have a background in either security and law enforcement. Mm -hmm. You definitely need to get your STCW qualification sure. to work on board the ship and then apply to the cruise lines. And sometimes depend on your background and experience uh, for people who've held uh, high level law enforcement positions, usually you can get hired on as, as a security manager or ship security officer. If you don't have a ton of experience, you can go on board typically as a ship security person who's working with the team. So there's a couple of different avenues, but, but make sure you get your STCW training. There's some shipboard security training that, that you want to get um, as well. So you have an understanding of some of the basics of uh, shipboard security and then apply to the cruise lines. And they take people from all over the world with all different kinds of background and experience. So um, they're always looking for people. Yeah, right on. Well, interestingly, there's kind of a trend here on the questions about security. Uh, how do you see the maritime threat picture changing and, and how would you keep up with it? That's, that's a really good question. Just over the past few months, we've seen the threat picture shift and change um, off the coast of Somalia has, has been fairly active up until a few years ago. We've seen that activity just this year increase. We've seen a tremendous increase in activity when it comes to risk and threats off the west coast of Africa. We've seen a big pickup just in the last couple of weeks off of Singapore. So the threat picture continues to change and high risk areas continue to move around the world. And I think that dynamic is gonna continue to change. We've seen incidents now off the east and west coasts of South America. We've seen protests and riots in different parts of South Central and South America that have caused issues into the port and the maritime industry. So this dynamic, I think, is going to be fairly interesting over the next uh, few years. And I really see a lot of increase in the threats to the maritime industry. One of the ways, and, and I'll be selfish here, Eric, is one of the ways to keep up with this in real time is, is you know, get a platform like ARMS on board your ship so you can see what's happening in real time everywhere in the world. And it really can help you make decisions about, hey, do we want to go here? Do we need to go? here and how sure. do we prepare and, to, to do that and you guys at imsa are putting out you know a weekly threat report these right. days, right so that's probably a good way to kind of keep up with that right we do a, a threat overview that we put out in on tuesday so take a look at that that's just a brief of what's been happening what we anticipate to go on sure. and we're going to look to expand that but that's that's more strategic you want to really look at when you're out there what's you know what's real time so that's a good starting point but you want to really look at how do we stay informed when we're underway gotcha so this next question, I want you to remember, Corey, this is from the viewers and not me personally, but it is, are you single? I would love to take you out. I wanted to just thank the production team for putting this <laughs> this question in. They got together and decided what questions uh, to put in. So, uh, well, it depends on where you live, who you are, how much you make. It's, oh, wow. <laughs> yes. So that's a, that's a, that's a great question. So, but 
Did you answer the question, are you single? <laughs> Let's go on to the next question, Eric. Let's keep the train moving. So lastly, you know, what's the best thing to do if you catch a stowaway on board? Are you allowed to just toss them right back over? Um, that's funny. <laughs> no, you're not allowed no, to toss not. them overboard. And this is a really sticky situation. Stowaways, um, when the ship's underway between two ports in international waters, it's a big issue. Um, Typically, you want to have a plan in place of how to deal with stowaways before you get underway. You want to look at what does our flag state say, what does our company management say, what does insurance say, and also kind of understand the ports that you're going to because there are some ports that if you're in route to a port and you find a stowaway, that port will not let you in until you've dealt with the stowaway. So there's a lot of moving parts in how to deal with mm -hmm. the stowaway. You also want to make sure to protect the safety and security of the crew. It happens happened on a ship, I believe, um, about a year ago off the coast of the UK. They found stowaways and the stowaways actually were able to take over part of the ship. So you want to ensure the safety and security of the crew, but you want to try to prevent the stowaways. So make sure you have a great uh, shoreside and gangway watch while you're, while you're in port so you don't have to deal with that at sea. But if you do, make sure you have a plan in place to deal with that because there's a lot of laws and regulations Absolutely. depending on where you are of, of how to deal with this. Well, it looks like we're just about out of time, Corey, and we really appreciate you answering the viewers' questions. So remember, everybody, uh, if you're interested in Corey, just reach out to us on social media. We'll uh, try to get you his personal phone number. And uh, anything else you want to add before we go? Nope. Thanks for being viewers, and make sure you connect to us and, uh, and throw your questions in for our future uh, viewer question episodes. Thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate all the viewers that we have on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we post new videos. Hit that like button for all the content that you enjoy on this channel. Make sure you connect to us and join the conversation in our social media, detailed in the banner above and also in the comments section below. If you have questions when it comes to maritime security, maritime risk management, or maritime regulatory compliance, don't hesitate to reach out to the experts here at IMSA because we're always happy to steer you in the right direction.